Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm the manager or proprietor of Mum's Cap. Um, I bought it for my late wife five years ago. Sadly, she passed away and I've taken over the role. Um, basically, just run the cafe. I know rough, I know a bit of the history. It's always, to my knowledge, it's always been a cafe and bakery. It was, when I was a young lad, I think it was a bakery and cafe. Um, before that, I don't know, but this was built about 1912. It was a railway used to run through here to um, Canoe Lake. And it was built just after that was pulled down, which was about 1910. Um, I think it's always been a cafe or bakery since then, but I don't know. All the time I know it has been, yes. We have been doing this for a few years now and it's a French exchange students that come over and obviously get a ferry back to France. We've um, built up a trade with France now where um, they, we give them a traditional English fish and chips, ice cream and uh, orange juice about seven o'clock, 7.30 before they get back onto the ferry to go home. Um, occasionally we'll do a breakfast for them as they come off the coach. But the main trade there is an evening meal before they get back on the coach because the age group can vary quite a bit between 13 and 17, and I think the time they get back on the ferry, which is about 10 o'clock, the time they eat, it's a bit late for those age groups. So we've been doing that for a little while now. It happens at generally wait times for schools, so it isn't a weekly thing, it's a kind of periodic thing. Yes, yes, quite a bit. More, more and more opening up. It's become a eating place and a drinking place in the evening. So with the recession, the loss of other jobs that's affected you? Yes, building work really, I would imagine. Um, there's not a lot of building work going on in South Sea at all, or in Portsmouth. Um, weather spoons have um, doing breakfast in the morning, which obviously hits trade. You've got all these Greg's and places like that, the fast food and sandwich outlets. They obviously um, hit trade. Most of your customers are loyal, loyal customers. I'd like to think so, yeah. Um, is most of your, uh, the trade that customers you have, um, do you think you rely on the loyal customers? Are they your main source? Yeah, main source, main source. Um, yeah, the main source, loyal customers, yes. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of lonely people about, obviously. A cafe is somewhere where they feel they can come in and sit down, yes, and maybe get to know people without intruding, yeah. In other words, it's a convenient place to be able to sit down. More so than a pub I would have thought. Almost women, same. women, again, I'm stereotyping but I don't mean to, um, certain age women don't go in the pubs on their own. I know the culture has changed now with younger, with younger people, but the culture for that age group was like you don't go to a pub on your own, but you can come into a cafe on your own. Yeah. It's almost, it's almost very similar to a library, would you agree, that you're not bothered, you're not hassled, it's not... Yeah, similar. Yeah, similar. It's not drink up people who are closing? No, there's no... Um, and it's a big enough cafe to accommodate. In other words, it isn't a small cafe, so you can let people sit in here for quite a long time. 
has Albert Road and the rest of Portsmouth changed over the past 12 years since you've been working here? Portsmouth not so much, maybe just Gunwharf has um, changed Portsmouth a hell of a lot, but Albert Road has changed significantly in the last 12 years. It's really become an eating place for students, drinking an eating place for students now, rather than it was a lot of specialist shops before. That they seem to be disappearing. And it is really a student uh, road. I think there'll always be a cafe here of some description. Because this, I think, is the largest one in Portsmouth as a cafe. Yeah. Um, but in what way it, why it will change, you know, I don't know. If I knew that, then I wouldn't tell you, would I? But I don't know. But I think it'll always be a, a cafe or some kind of eating establishment because of its position. I like what I do. Yeah. I've worked that long hours. Yeah, I don't see myself here for being here for a great deal longer. Thank you.